Success Story of Howard Schultz, Who Made Starbucks a World Brand He started his life as a child of a poor family. He even sold his blood outside of working to pay for school. While working as a marketer, he resigned and pursued his dream of opening a coffee shop on every corner. He liked the idea called Dotmas so much that he created the first brand that comes to mind when it comes to coffee chain in the world. Here is the success story of the founder of Starbucks. When the three partners set up the company with $1,350 each and a $5,000 loan from the bank, they probably wouldn't have guessed that they laid the foundation for one of the retail giants 30 years from now. Is Starbucks a success story from which these three partners set out with the slogan, only good coffee? No way! Behind the Starbucks legend is the vision and stubbornness of Howard Schultz, a man who actually markets plastic kitchenware. Not these three partners. The story of Starbucks, one of the largest retail chains in the world and its founder, Howard Schultz, is quite interesting in every way. He was born on July 19, 1953, in Brooklyn, New York, as one of the three children of Fred and Elaine Schultz. His father was a truck driver and his mother was a housewife. The financial situation of Schultz's family was not good at all. He understood what poverty meant at an early age and grew up with difficulties. He spent his childhood with basketball, which was his passion from an early age. When he was only seven years old, his father broke his leg after an unfortunate accident and could not continue his work and had to rest at home. The family, who was already trying to live on a single salary, was even more difficult. The Schultz family, who somehow managed to get out of this situation, continued their lives. Howard Schultz had to work when he was 12 years old. His first job experience was as a newspaper deliveryman. Later, she worked as a waitress and busboy in cafes. He started working in a fur shop when he was 16 years old. Now life was getting very high and he knew he had to get out of this poverty. For this, he took the first step by winning an athlete scholarship. Thanks to his athletic personality, he received a scholarship from Northern Michigan University and started to study communication sciences. After graduating in 1975, he worked for Xerox as a sales consultant for three years. After leaving here, he started working for a Swedish company called Hammamplast. His job at this company was to sell household products. He even sold coffee machines and coffee grinders to Starbucks, which was founded on March 30, 1971 in Washington, when the coffee machines he sold to Starbucks were also popular with other companies. Schultz went to Starbucks headquarters in Seattle. Schultz went to Seattle, seeing the hospitable welcomes of a coffee-loving English teacher Jerry Baldwin, a history teacher Zev Siegel, and a writer Gordon Boker. She fell in love with Starbucks and these three friends. Starbucks, which at that time only sold coffee seeds, had already begun to decorate Howard Schultz's dreams. He wanted very much to buy and expand this small, cozy shop and turn it into a world brand. Schultz did not stop and never gave up while constantly getting rejection from three friends who did not like the growth business. He eventually convinced her and became the company's marketing manager. He moved to Seattle when he joined the company in 1982. He went to Italy for a business trip in 1983 and added a lot of coffee-related things to himself there. He returned to Seattle with latte and cappuccino recipes. These recipes caused the company to grow rapidly and increased its sales by three times. Schultz was very impressed by Italy. There, people were sitting in cafes, meeting just for coffee. Coffee was a culture there. Thinking why not at Starbucks, this culture offered Baldwin to open a coffee shop. However, Baldwin did not accept the offer, as he thought such a thing would limit their freedom. After this decision, Howard Schultz resigned from Starbucks and started his own business. In April 1986, he opened a coffee shop in Seattle. He named the shop IL Journal. This shop was similar to the shops Schultz saw in Italy. IL Journal coffee shop saw 300 customers from day one. Hearing that Starbucks would be sold a year from now, Schultz sought to find the necessary $4 million from investors and directly aspired to Starbucks. One of the first investors of the company was Bill Gates. Eventually, Howard Schultz managed to become the sole owner of Starbucks at the age of 34 and took firm steps towards spreading the brand around the world. 
Schultz, who has come a long way in a short time, has achieved this by considering customer satisfaction without advertising. Starting to open branches in Boston and Chicago, Schultz promised his investors to open 125 branches in the United States in five years, and in 1992 he increased his branches above this number. In 1996, he thought it was time to open up to the world. Thus, this year the first branch outside the United States opened in Japan. The sequel was Singapore, South Korea, England, Netherlands, Sweden and Israel, respectively. Howard Schultz currently resides in Seattle with a good family man and two children. According to Forbes, Howard Schultz ranks 680th on the list of world millionaires with $3 billion. We are not in the coffee business, where we serve people. We are in the people business, where we serve coffee. Howard Schultz.